Now in this video we are going to talk about defensive cyber security and offensive cyber security. So usually when people think about cyber security, the only thing that comes to their mind is ethical hacking, right? However, that's not the only domain which is there in cyber security. So let me help you in understanding the two main categories in cyber security. So the first category is offensive cyber security. So as the name indicates, you will be protecting your organization, but by attacking it. Okay. So it does not mean that you are going to literally attack your organization. You're going to find vulnerabilities. You're going to try to get inside your infrastructure, right? And show that what kind of damage can be caused if these attacks were real. The other domain is defensive cyber security. Now in defensive cyber security, you will be creating security solutions. You will be trying to protect your organization from the bad guys. So if we talk about offensive cyber security, offensive cyber security is fun, right? And it is further divided into multiple subdomains. You have red teaming where it's like a free for all engagement where you can try to attack your organization and you have one goal, right? To get inside the infrastructure in any way or the other. Then a popular term or a popular subdomain called pen testing. Now, sometimes people also refer to it as ethical hacking, but the technical term that we should be using is pen testing. So what is pen testing? You have to follow the rules of engagement and uh, you are already told by the client what you can test and what you cannot. So you have to follow a pattern and you will also be finding vulnerabilities here. Now, pen testing is very similar to red teaming, but red teaming is broader in scope, unlike pen testing. Now, even inside pen testing, there can be multiple subtypes. For example, web application pen testing, VoIP pen testing, network pen testing, Docker pen testing, automotive pen testing, and many others. Then inside offensive security, if you want to create your own tools, own scripts, you want to create your own exploits, there is another domain, there is another subdomain called exploit development. So this is what you would do in offensive cyber security. The list does not end here. Now let's come to defensive cyber security. Defensive cyber security is challenging and here you will be monitoring your environment 24-7, 365 and you will try to protect it from the bad guys. So for those of you who have already been working with firewalls, congratulations, you are already a member of defensive cyber security and you are known as a blue teamer. You could be working as a malware analyst in defensive cyber security where you will be trying to analyze different types of malware and you will understand their signatures. Or you can work as a forensic analyst where you will be analyzing an attack after it has occurred. You will try to find out how this attack happened, who did it, which kind of IP was used and so on and what is the impact. If you're working in defensive cyber security, you are working in something called SOC. So SOC is Security Operations Center. 